Well, we are looking ahead to our first alert weather days for Thursday and Friday. But as I mentioned, Wednesday not looking too bad, pleasant and warm. Rain moves in on Thursday, mainly for your morning. The afternoon will still bring a few spotty showers, but really it's early day Thursday and then the afternoon and evening with the severe storm threat on Friday after about 2 p.m. as it looks right now, but that could put the school pickup at risk. It could put you uh, on the road coming home from work when some of those storms are coming through. Uh, so I'll give you a fresh look at the latest timing, even though it's going to take probably another 24 hours just for us to really solidify the, the time frame when you're going to see the worst weather. Uh, but here's a look at the latest computer model, at least the short range as we go into late Wednesday. This is 10 p.m. Notice it's mostly dry. Here comes a line of pretty vigorous storms, but this is not the main event. Uh, they'll be stronger out west. This will be kind of dying as it gets here, but still some heavy rain in the mountains. So middle of the night, too. You'll get some rumbles of thunder out of this as well, but it weakens a lot as it gets into the upstate. But we will still have some pretty good coverage of rain as we get into the 5 a.m. hour around Anderson, Greenville, Spartanburg, and continuing off and on through the morning. And then we'll get another surge of scattered showers anyway, heading into the evening, 6 p.m. on Thursday. And then we'll see some pockets of heavy rain develop overnight. That's really going to be the trend until that main front gets here. We'll stay in an unstable, cloudy, moist situation where we just get these waves of showers moving through. And then we'll get the heavy storms. So here's the setup. A lot of times this time of year, we'll say, OK, we've got a big, strong system coming through, but yeah, not as much energy for it to access, not, not enough to make the storms build up and become really strong, uh, because that is often the case in our area in the months of February, March, and sometimes even April. Uh, but in this situation, looks like we are going to have that warm air. The warm front's going to ride north of us. The cold front will be to our west. That puts us in what we call the warm sector. And this is the area that's primed for severe weather. Now, as the warm air will be in place, we'll have this cold front coming in, the two clash, and that's what's going to help to create that strong line of thunderstorms that will be moving through. And with this area of low pressure close by, it'll help to add to the turning of the winds with height, and that could create isolated tornado warnings along this line. This is 4 p.m. At this point, I'd say any time after 2 p.m. and really up to about 8, 9 p.m., we could be looking at this threat. You can see it'll be pushing out as we head toward around 9, 10 o'clock, which should be generally out of our area. We're talking damaging wind, tornadoes, and large hail as a potential with this system as it moves through. And then, luckily, the weekend looking pretty nice. Now, rain totals between Thursday and Friday could be pretty impressive in the mountains as we'll likely get close to two inches in some spots, especially we're seeing the red color there right along the uh, North South Carolina border, uh, but a little bit less farther to the south. The heaviest rain is going to fall that early Thursday morning in the mountains. That's what's really going to add up some of those totals, uh, but still a decent downpour for the upstate as well. So 48 tonight in the upstate, mostly clear. Grab those jackets in the morning in the mountains, 43, and then nice for the afternoon. Enjoy it as I keep mentioning 70s and upper 60s out there with the sunshine. But clouds will develop Wednesday evening, and then we'll be looking ahead to those heavy thunderstorms in the mountains overnight, and then some showers in the upstate on Thursday. Friday will bring that better chance for afternoon storms. That line I was talking about that could bring even a, a few tornadoes would be Friday afternoon, but the weekend looking gorgeous. Highs in the 60s and sunshine. The, the nights will be chilly, though. In fact, dropping below freezing in the mountains Saturday night and highs near 60 Saturday and Sunday.